only people that I will tip are pizza delivery drivers, waiters and strippers. That's it. Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. We are in Benton Harbor, Michigan. I spent the whole freaking day here. Uh, I was very tired from driving all night last night. I needed to get some much needed sleep. There was some loads this morning that I could have booked, but I could have found something to go anywhere else, but I want to go home. And I missed out on a couple loads and I got stuck here all day. But no biggie, I got a load to picking up tomorrow in Chicago. And we are taking it down to, well, not down, but over to Mount Sterling, Illinois. Picks up tomorrow, deliver straight through. And after that, I'm gonna run down home. I pulled up down here to this Walmart, just like a mile and a half away from the pilot truck stop where I was at. They allow truck parking. There's a wing stop right there. I can get wing stop or I can get Mexican food right there. I, I was about to place an order <laughs> on Wingstop for some wings for me to carry out. And these cocksuckers are asking for the tip. <laughs> I got a tip for you, motherfucker. Get a better fucking job. Or better yet, I got a tip for Wingstop owners. Pay your fucking employees living wage so they don't have to so that you don't have to ask for customers to pay tips only people that i will tip are pizza delivery drivers waiters and strippers that's it we went with some mexican yes sir this freaking looks delicious and i usually get food enough for 17 freaking people but it's all right my friend this looks delicious. Fried chimichanga, no cheese sauce, carne asada tacos, chips, and whatever that is, salsa. I've eaten a lot of Mexican over my life, but these tacos, this is the best stuff that I have ever tried that was Mexican. El Rodeo restaurant right across from Walmart right next to where the Staples used to was, exit 29 off of Interstate 94 in Benton Harbor, Michigan. There's a truck parking, you guys can park right there and go inside. You can go inside or order a call out like I did. Very freaking nice. Alrighty, well, all of the uh, revenue collection centers are currently closed because it is almost evening or it might be evening i don't know it's 8 16 pm what do i know man i'm just a dump truck driver we are still in michigan just left this walmart over here i didn't eat too much i didn't overeat i only ate those three tacos i could even touch the freaking uh chimichanga i looked in there there was two of those freaking things man but yeah we're gonna leave chimichangas for tomorrow, well, is it chimichanga? Yeah, it's chimichanga. All trucks use right two lanes. Okay, whatever. Go ahead, boss. Boss me around, buddy. <laughs> Get out of there. <laughs> Truck is really dirty. Trailer is not. Well, the trailer is probably dirty as well, but you can't really see because it it's white but the truck is really freaking dirty but i didn't want to wash it there was a truck wash right there at pilot where i was uh all day today and i was thinking about washing it but then i see that tomorrow it's supposed to rain and friday as well i'm like i don't want to freaking do that man that would that would that would just be wasted hundred dollars but we are definitely going to be washing this beast this weekend whenever I come home and it's only gonna run me like 20 bucks so oh shit I didn't see that in time freaking hell man man I look at all these young drivers out here these 21 year olds 22 year olds and 
they remind me a lot of myself, man. Guys, go home. Stop driving, quit, go home. It's not worth it, my friends. It is not worth it. I wish I could go back in time to 18 and a half years ago, whenever I started driving, to tell myself, get the hell out of that truck, you stupid idiot. But, at least I didn't shed his bags like, <laughs> like these guys do. All right. Get her done, buddy. Get her done. We are started, starting off day early on this one. Got a, you know what I'm saying? You know what, you know what I'm saying? Get up at that dog. Get up at that dog. <laughs> Alrighty, we are shutting it down. Gonna get up early tomorrow morning and go the rest of the way. I don't feel like going in all the way over there and sleeping somewhere on a dark street in Chicago, to be honest with you. This right here is a brand new Love's truck stop. I'm parked over here on the side. Nice and safe. I don't think anybody can park there because of that rounded curve. And none of us are supposed to park here anyway. Maybe a bobtail. But even if a truck comes here, he should have plenty of space to back in next to me. Which I'm okay with. That's a, that's a passing lane for semi-trucks. Classic transportation. More like classic cocksucker. The old stupid ass ponytail. Good morning everybody, we are in Gary, Indiana, it is Thursday morning, I am very freaking mad today because I didn't take a load yesterday that was taking me 40 miles away from my freaking house, I could have been home yesterday, but no, no, I want more money, Woo! freaking moron. I'm not gonna be home until midnight tonight or something like that. Bullshit, bro. I was so tired. Oh, uh, shut the fuck up, bro. I was so tired this morning and I didn't really want to get up. <laughs> when I heard my alarm clock ring, I answered my phone, started answering my phone, I was like, hello, hello, who the fuck is this, hello, <laughs> but it, it was my alarm clock, <laughs> that, that's the first time that ever happened to me, man, <laughs> where, I always set like three or four alarms, like, you know, three or four minutes spaced out, just because if I turn one off, there's another one coming that's gonna wake me up. Okay, everybody slowing down because there was an accident on the other side of the road that has absolutely nothing to do with us on this side, but everybody wants to see what's happening. You know, take some videos, take some pictures. You gotta do it, man. You gotta record that shit, post it on your Snapchat story. Jackasses. See, there was something that happened over there on that side. Has nothing to do over here with us. And here it is. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god. Well, I gotta record that shit too, bro. Not a good time, not a good time. Looks like the car slammed into the back of the freaking semi truck at full speed. And I mean, full speed. Like, the car is totally fucked up, man. Holy shit. Oh, 
Oh man, you gotta get off your fucking phone, guys. You gotta get off your phones, man. I'm on my phone while driving as well, but not in the congested area. Like, I wouldn't be on my freaking phone right here, you know, looking at my phone, texting, watching game just porn. No. You gotta be smart about it. Do it somewhere in the middle of nowhere on the open road. And of course, truck drivers gonna get blamed for that accident. We always get blamed for everything that happens out here, man. Even though most of the uh, semi trucks versus cars accidents are caused by actually cars and not semi trucks, but we still get blamed for it because supposedly we're supposed to be professional or some shit, but I don't know. Finally, we get to pass this motherfucker. Stupid ass Schaefer. Bitch boy. That is what you call a steering wheel holder. He's just sitting there holding his cup of freaking coffee, hogging up the passing lane for semi trucks. He don't give a shit. He don't move left, he don't move right, nothing. He's just like a dumbass animal looking straight forward. Oh man. One more. Noble Freight LLC. Noble my ass. Motherfucker. Playing with his ELD and shit. I'm gonna cut him off big time right here. I didn't cut him off. I gave him a couple of feet. <laughs> There's a guy in a semi truck over here to my left, honking right next to me, thinking I'm gonna slow down and let him in. I don't fucking think so, buddy. You have plenty of freaking signs back there saying 290 West, right lane. But no, you still chose to be there, God sucker. Come on. They've been working on this interchange since 2007. Since I've been working for a place out of Chicago. And they still are not done. supposed to turn left right here but there's a big ass sign saying no trucks 
Okay. Now uh, let's go the other way. We're gonna have to run over a curve. Maybe. Maybe not. Okay, good job. Good job, my friend. One these days, old man. One these days. You're gonna hurt. You're gonna learn the hard lesson, my friend. Stop sign, why the fuck I gotta stop? I'm not gonna stop. Alrighty, we got her back then. I checked in this morning when I got here about an hour ago, or actually an hour and a half ago. And the guy said the load is not gonna be ready 
until noon. So I told him, I'm over there on the street where that guy is right now sleeping. Come get me whenever you're ready. He said it'll probably be out around 10, but he comes knocking at 8.30, and here we are, getting loaded. We are taking this load to Mount Sterling, Illinois, to Dodd Foods. Only 245 miles. Uh, appointment is not until 7 p.m. tonight, but I will try to deliver it early so I can go home. But I guess we'll see what they say. I think it's gonna rain. I really do. I'm glad I didn't wash the truck yesterday because that would just be a waste of money. All right, so for this one, the temperature will need to be set somewhere between 40 and 45. And of course, the broker lied again. Oh, I gotta apply the trailer brake before I do that. Let's slide our tandems. Come on, what the fuck is going on? Well, I don't know. But the broker lied again. <laughs> he said, I put, a, I put a load lock like that so this one doesn't tip over. He said this load will be 10,000 pounds. Guess what? It is 40,027 pounds. Well, I am on uneven ground and the doors will not close, so I gotta move to even ground. All right, so let's move over here. To even ground, so I can get the doors closed. I'm gonna call this cocksucker and ask for more money. There's a big difference between 40 and 10,000 pounds, big difference. What's the deal with you, man? What the fuck? Ah, shit. Think I might have an air leak somewhere. Yeah, I can hear it. Because these motherfuckers will not slide and the airbags are not raised up. So something's definitely going on. You see how these pins, how the pins will not pull in? Whenever I pull on this shit. Oh, fucking hell, man. That it'll be really hard for me to get out with my, to get out of here with my tandems being slid all the way back. I'm gonna shut that reefer off so I can listen for the air leak a little bit better. Well, I can't really hear that fucking air leak anywhere. You should be able to hear it once you release your trailer brakes. But I am not hearing it. Huh. Very weird. Very fucking weird indeed, bro. And the airbags are not airing up. Oh, man. It's gonna be one of the fucking days, man. And people say, why well, you guessed it? That's what's the fucking problem. The airbag has a giant ass hole in it. <laughs> yeah, there's a big ass fucking hole in this airbag, bro. Holy shit. Well, we're gonna have to replace that. Like, today. Okay. We're gonna do a temporary fix on it just so I can slide my tendons and get out of here. Like I said, we're gonna do a temporary fix. So right there on that airbag, right here from this air valve, the airline is going into it, supplying air to it. And none of these other airbags can get inflated with air while that one is leaking. So I'm gonna block off that line right there, the red line, and uh, it's just gonna be temporary fix until I find the airbag. All right, so the way that I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna take off that airline off of there, and I'm gonna shove a big ass screw in that airline. And that should fix that. At least I hope so. Come on, keep coming, motherfucker. 
All right, so there's the screw. We're just gonna leave it hanging like that. And uh, yeah, that should hold the air, definitely. If you wanna own your own truck, guys, you gotta know how to fix some of this stuff. You gotta be resourceful. You can't always just call road service. All right, so looks like we didn't do it right. We took the wrong airline off. So let's go ahead and fix it properly. Still gonna need to take that one off and plug it just like that. If this ever happens to you, hopefully it never does. But still gonna have to take it off and plug it up. So right there, there are two airlines that are going into one fitting. We're gonna need to take both of these airlines off and put them together. Yeah, we're gonna need to splice them together. So let's take them off real quick. All right, so the airlines are off. If this ever happens to you, uh, you can even use a pen to fix this. I've, I've fixed stuff like this with a pen. Uh, I'm gonna fix it properly because I have a lot of these fittings. I'm just gonna use one of these. I could also cut it off, but I don't want to cut it off right there. Cut off those brass things and use one of these because I have a lot of these. And all of you guys, owner operators, should have these. You can buy a bunch of these on Amazon. These are quick connect air fittings and they work just fine. So we're just gonna take all these parts out and slap this bad boy up on there. Slide this one in here. Screw this part on down here. And then slide. Come on. This one on there. Just like that. Okay, now what we gotta do is tighten it up and it should be good to go. All right, just like that. Let's go start the truck up and see if it will work. <laughs> I think it should, but I've never done this before. So let's go and try it. You gotta have all the tools and parts in order to fix some of this stuff, guys. If you're gonna be owner operator, you kind of don't have a choice. If you wanna make money out here, you gotta be able to fix some of your own stuff. Did it work? It definitely did work because I can see that airbag blowing up. So that's a good news, I guess. I knew something was wrong as soon as I got into the truck a minute ago because I could hear the air hissing inside, okay? You see, now it works. All right, great success, very nice. I'm very proud of myself, by the way. Spirit Airlines. All right, let's turn this thing back on slide our tandems and get out of here all right well finally was able to slide the tandems back looks like that worked so it's time to go this is why I hate guys who pee on the ground all over the place at truck stops on the side of the freaking roads because eventually one of these days one of us owner operators will have to get under our truck to fix something and we don't want to crawl in your you know, shit bag stuff and your your piss, man. Come on, guys, that's not right. You shouldn't be doing that, man. We are in Wheeling, Illinois, right off of Interstate 55. Stopped here at Petro to check out my temporary fix to see how it's holding up, and it seems to be working just fine. Thank God. So that is good news, my friend. I called utility trailer about the airbag and it's going to be $197 for one of those fuckers. Slack adjuster, $175. Very nice. <laughs> Not really. To 
Today is Thursday, May 2nd. Today, a subscriber, Greg from Oregon, is having a very tough surgery. Good luck to you, Greg, and speedy recovery, my friend. We are still on Interstate 55, heading south for another four or five miles, and then we're gonna get on to some two-lane highways. The temperature is 83 degrees. The wind is blowing straight at us at 18 miles an hour, which is very hard in a truck. It is struggling, my friend. This turbo is whistling like it hasn't whistled in a long, long time. We're just gonna get the windshield washed right here. This place right here is, is McLean, Illinois. We are on US 136, trucking along west. We're gonna stay on this road for another 38 miles until we get to Havana, Illinois. Ah, oh, Havana, Illinois. I remember you, my friend. Used to deliver there for Dollar General all the time. Dollar General, baby, come on. Why'd you leave me? Please come back. Please come back to me, my friend. Come on. San Jose, Illinois. Population 700 people. Quite a bit for such a small place. Havana, Illinois. Population 3,600 people. I used to love coming to this uh, Dollar General here in Havana because they had a loading dock and I didn't have to use my lift cage, so delivery went real fast. Most of the Dollar Generals, 99% of them, do not have a loading dock. You have to use the lift gate to unload the stuff. This road right here is Illinois 100. Looks like we're gonna stay on this road for 37 miles. Illinois population 150 people
Frederick, Illinois. Doesn't say how many people live here. Probably not many. Sucks. Better slow down. We have a big ass curve right here. It looks like all of this was flooded recently because they had a lot of freaking rain here in Illinois. Mount Sterling, Illinois. Population. 1,900 people. I used to deliver, well, one time only I delivered to this Dollar General over here, which was pretty easy. Only had one stop to this place right here, about a quarter of a trailer. It was very, very freaking nice. But anyway, 1,900 people for this place. I don't know if that's correct, man. I would think this would have, a, I don't know, at least double that. But. And I don't know how correct those numbers are for the cities and towns, to be honest with you. It does not seem correct for uh, Mount Sterling, Illinois, that's for sure. Alrighty, we are here. Let's go check in and see what they say. Attention, use both inbound lanes and remain in your truck until you reach front of the line. I've been here one time with the dry van. Dot Foods, Sterling, Illinois. No, Mount Sterling, Illinois. We have checked in and it looks like we're gonna have to wait for our appointment time because they are doing a shift change right now. I don't know how long that takes, but... And it looks like it's gonna rain, possibly even hail. Just like an hour, about an hour and 15 minutes away from here, the guy, the FedEx guy said there was a inch size hail, which is not good. But this place is freaking gigantic, man. One of the biggest places I've ever been to. Alrighty, we just got a call. Door 171. It's about three hours before our appointment time.
look at that freaking cloud guys it is moving so fast wow hopefully we don't have a tornado here man Shit. well it is starting to rain and the wind is blown very bad let me take this wind muff off so you can hear it you hear that oh <laughs> Dang. holy shit bro <laughs> all right that's it guys thank you very much for following along i really appreciate all you guys please stay safe and take care of each other i'm gonna run inside a truck real quick before it gets really bad here look at that the wind is blowing very bad i don't know man you hear it? you hear that